Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to Sunday morning and the old cookbook show. Today we're going to do a recipe out of a book that showed up a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it was in one of the unboxing videos and it's from the Ford Motor Company. This book here called The Ford Treasury of Favorite Recipes from Famous Eating Places. And it's, oh, it's an incredible book. It really is an incredible book. Um, it would have been very expensive to produce. The paintings inside are just unbelievably fantastic. Uh-oh. Hmm. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I couldn't find my oil. So a little bit of oil in the bottom of the frying pan. It's incredibly aspirational. It makes you believe that if you buy a 1950 Ford, you can set off on the great American road trip and you can go coast to coast and eat in all of these incredible places. Um, and it's part of a series. So there would have been one of these each year. And I, I, I'm now interested to try to find more of them to get a, a broader scope of how they changed over time um, and what types of places they included in the book. This is, this is very much in the vein of what Duncan Hines did. Um, it's also kind of in the vein of what Vincent Price did. You know, that, that Vincent Price from the movies. He did something very similar. Uh, and so now I, I, you know, takes me down a rabbit hole of, of a different style of book that I, that I want to look for now. It's not without its flaws though. Um, if I lived in a vacuum, didn't know anything about anything, and this was my only point of reference, I would believe that everyone in the United States was eating lobster thermidor or pot roast, because there are several recipes for each of those things in this book. I would also be under the impression that um, pecan pie was only served in New England. I've got a small frying pan here. I've got some olive oil in it. It's heated up, and we're gonna saute some onion and a couple of cloves of garlic that they want me to mince up, so... Okay, and in with the garlic. Just kind of gently saute that. Doesn't really give me much instruction other than saute. And it is dripping with that aspirational aspect. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, after I've worked in TV advertising most of my adult life, if we were advertising a product to somebody at this socioeconomic level, we would always choose a location, a car, and actors, and clothing at this socioeconomic level to try to make these people believe that by buying the product, they could become these people. It's dirty tricks, for sure. Um, but, you know, humans are simple creatures, and it always worked. So that's, that's what I mean by aspirational. It's really trying to tell people that if you buy your, you know, your mid-range Ford, you can stay at the Stagecoach Inn in Manitou Springs, Colorado, or the Country Kitchen, which is where the dish is from that we're making today, uh, green rice. So, onion and garlic sautéing. I've got milk, and I'm going to put two eggs in because I'm supposed to lightly beat the eggs. I'm going to beat the eggs in the milk because that's just the easiest way to do it. Now, I've never had anything called green rice. Um, I really don't know what to expect. It's kind of like a casserole. It's going to go in the oven. Um, says it wants a little bit of salt, so I'm going to put the salt in with the milk and the egg just to dissolve the salt and mix it in. Also wants... Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. Uh, wants Worcester sauce. I'm going to use Hendo's because, you know, I think Hendo's is really cool. Tastes great. It's Worcestery, and a big shout out to everyone who's watching from Sheffield in the north. Okay, there we go. That's probably that's probably enough. Anyway, as much as I'm down on the book because it repeats the same or similar recipes over and over and over and over, in a book like this, I would expect each page, each place would present a different recipe. And especially for a curated book like this that is um, that presents as so luxurious, 
you would expect that the editors would would make sure that they had a wide range of recipes that represented each area. I feel kind of let down by that. But you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't unusual for many cookbooks um, pre-World War II to present multiple recipes of the same dish, um, showing you various different ways and that there wasn't just one master recipe. I think that's something that we've lost today. 2024, this idea that there's a master recipe out there that you have to follow exactly or you're going to fail. You know that's not how we roll here. So I've got cooked rice. And to that, I'm going to add chopped parsley. I'm going to add the sauteed onion and garlic. And all the oil that's in the pan. Um, give that a bit of a mix. Then we add in milk, salt, egg, Worcester sauce or Hendo's. And then shredded cheddar cheese, which I just shredded off camera there. Chicken sitting in front of the monitor, checking the shot, making sure that everything's going okay. Okay, so I've got that all mixed up. It says to put it into a buttered casserole. Uh, and then bake at 350 for about 40 minutes. So I've got my casserole all greased up. In goes the rice and the egg. I'm, so I'm expecting a savory rice pudding custardy type thing. Um, you know, already my, my brain is going to different types of seafood that I would add to this, you know, shrimp or scallops or clams or, or mussels or something. Anyway, doesn't tell me to put a lid on, but I'm going to put a lid on and into the oven. Ooh, hello, Glenn. Hey, Jules. Hi, friends. Let me clap that door for you. What have we got in this pot? Green rice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. I see. There's some green parts in it. Uh huh. Is that uh, parsley? Yeah. Oh, good guess on my part. I mean, rice is usually forked, but it looks like it could be a nice creamy. Huh. Huh. That came out a bit like a rice pudding. I wonder if you're supposed to fluff it first. I think it is rice pudding. I think it's a savory rice pudding. Okay. Because it's got milk, it's got eggs, but it's got all kinds of savory components. Okay. So maybe that wouldn't... It's um, interesting. Well, I'm up for that. Who's to say? Oh, the oven's hot. <laughs> You'd think I'd learn. That's a pretty nice savory rice. Yeah. Um, like as a side dish, savory yeah. rice? Yeah. Oh, what's in I it? Mean, is it really just parsley in it? Oh, there's a little cheese. A little bit of cheese, some onion, mm -hmm. and um, Worcester sauce. I mean, it's not like a giant burst of flavoring. No. You know, it is It is a side dish that would accompany something. Now, it uses pre-cooked rice. All right, so I cook the rice first in the rice cooker. Mm. That's why the rice almost has no texture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe not cooked rice already would change the texture, but I mean, obviously the country kitchen, Colonel and Mrs. Hus Hus Hudson's smorgasbord table is always heavily laden. Have you, these are, these are lovely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're always heavily laden with delicious delicacies. Dinner only, except, every day except Monday. Close November 1st to March 31st. Littleton, Colorado. Does it still exist in Littleton, Colorado? Have you eaten there? I'm fat. I'm almost wanted to a road trip just looking for all just of these restaurants. These Apparently, it's on US 85 and 87. So if you're in the Littleton area, let us know. Um, there's a couple in here from Quebec City. 
Oh. Yeah. We'll have to look for those. Uh, they're still there. I mean, it's the chateau. The chateau. Oh, <laughs> yeah. chateau's still yeah. there. The chateau is still there. I, I doubt they... Well, and they probably do still serve that. Uh, we should go to look at the chateau. Anyway, this is, this is a very interesting side dish. And it makes me look at that idea of rice pudding as a savory dish completely differently. Yes, because it's just... It, it's... It's a method. It's a method. <laughs> it's a method. Um, and I, I definitely would use uncooked rice next time. There or, you go. Or I would try it with uncooked rice next time. Anyway, this is pretty good. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.